The main way to create a body is with polyester resin and fiberglass mat. If you're doing a one-off tuning, then spray foam and a utility knife will be enough. You create the desired shape from foam and polystyrene and then everything gets covered with fiberglass. But you can't apply polyester resin directly onto foam or polystyrene. It will definitely eat through it. I'm creating a protective layer with PVA glue, but it hasn't always been effective because there were some areas that could be missed. Right now, besides just using PVA glue, I'm also applying some paper. Any newspaper will do. But unlike glue, the resin dries within 15 to 30 minutes. You need to mix up as much resin as you can use within 10 minutes. Otherwise, it turns into a gel-like state, and it won't work properly anymore. It won't be able to soak the fiberglass mat properly anymore. The ratio of hardeners to resin, 2% hardener to the resin. That's very little. Now about the fiberglass mat, I usually apply it in three layers. You can apply it in two layers if the density of the fiberglass mat is high. On average, the density of fiberglass mat is 450 grams per square meter. A high density is considered to be 600 grams, while a low density is 300. It also depends on how critical the part you're making is, meaning how much strength it needs. First, I apply a small amount of resin to the body so that the fiberglass mat sticks to it, and then I fully saturate the fiberglass mat. The next layer should be applied so that it's a bit larger in area than the previous one, so that the edges of the fiberglass mat slightly overlap the previous one. And so each new layer will stick to the new body. Because if you just lay down identical pieces of fiberglass mat, then only the first layer will actually stick to the body and you won't have that awkward moment where a tuning part falls off somewhere. So, only the first layer of the fiberglass mat will actually stick to the body, and you won't have that awkward moment where a tuning part falls off somewhere. You also definitely need to stock up on a lot of disposable gloves. This resin is very sticky, and you'll definitely need to handle it with your hands. Next, after you've applied the resin, you need to sand everything down. If you applied it carefully, sanding might not be necessary. You can just fill it with putty, but if you're sanding, you definitely need to wear a respirator because this dust is very dangerous. For working with fiberglass, just having respiratory protection isn't enough. You also need to protect your skin. I couldn't find where to buy a special jumpsuit, so I had to make do with what I had. It's best to do all this outdoors or in a garage without a roof, but ideally fiberglass is nearly the very final step before proceeding further, if you have decided to drastically and significantly change the shape of the body, you will definitely have to work with metal, which I almost invariably do in every single one of my projects.